thanks for clicking to watch my video. My name is Lara, a certified Montessori early educator. Today, I'm going to be presenting geometric solids. The Montessori geometric solids is a set of 10 blue wooden 3D shapes with wooden or card bases. The objectives of the exercise are as follows. It stimulates the child's ability to perceive and understand the form and nature of objects. It develops the child's vocabulary, learning the names of the different geometric shapes. It develops the child's awareness of how shapes form the basis for everyday objects. It indirectly prepares the child for further work in geometry. We will be learning five exercises. Exercise one, familiarization, introducing three solids to the child. Exercise two, learning the names of the solids using a three period lesson. Exercise three, stereognostic activity. Exercise four, matching the solids with their corresponding bases. Exercise five, matching the solids with their corresponding pictures. Exercise 1. Familiarization. The teacher invites the child to work with her and names the material. This is the geometric solids. The teacher puts two or three solids in the basket. This exercise can be presented on the table or on the floor. The teacher brings out the bases and looks for the corresponding solids. The teacher works with one shape at a time. Gently, the teacher fills the solid with her hands, gives it to the child to fill too. She encourages the child to roll it, while she talks to the child about the shape. The sphere is round like a ball. You can roll like a ball. The sphere is round like a donut. The sphere is run like a burger bun. The sphere is run like a coin. Ask the child to name objects that has the same shape as the sphere. Repeat the same process for the remaining two solids. Cube. The cube has the same shape as a dice, a gift box, a treasure chest, triangular based pyramid has the same shape as a slice of pizza use the process till all the solids are introduced two or three solids at a time exercise two three period lesson teach the names of the solid using three period lesson first period name second period practice third period test. Please watch my video on the three period lesson. Exercise three, stereognostic activity. Cover the box with a piece of cloth with a blindfold on. Let the child fill the shape and name the solid. This is a tactile activity. The child uses her hands to identify the features of the shape thereby building an abstract picture of the shape he or she had previously seen and is able to correctly name the shape. This exercise can also be a group lesson where each child takes turn to fill and name the solids.
exercise 4 matching the solids with the corresponding bases. Take out three bases of contrast. Rearrange the solids. Trace around the base with your index and middle fingers and look for its corresponding base. Exercise 5. Object to picture matching. Begin the exercise with two or three solids and pictures. Object to picture matching helps with the child's vocabulary. As the child is matching, he is also saying the names of the shapes. Increase the number of solids and pictures as the child gains mastery. Matching exercise helps to develop the child's concentration and also nurtures the child's reasoning skills. The child learns to identify the right solid to match the right picture. So that's how we present geometric solids. See you all in my next video. Bye.